Hi everybody, welcome to your science lesson today. Today we're going to learn about mechanical and chemical weathering. Remember, weathering is when rocks break into smaller pieces. Okay, so mechanical weathering. Mechanical weathering is the process that changes the size and shape of a rock. Like this used to be one rock and then probably water got in and froze and look, poof, it split into two. That is mechanical weathering, right? Let's look at examples of mechanical weathering. When water gets into a rock and freezes, then splits the rock. There's the water. It got into like a little hole, but then it froze and it split the rock. Look, now the rock is into two pieces. So that's one example. The water got in and froze. The other example is when the rock is broken from a plant growing in it. Look at this tree split the rock into two. So that is mechanical weathering. It changes the size and shape of the rock. Now we're going to look at chemical weathering. Chemical weathering is the process that changes the materials of the rock. So whatever materials they were, it kind of got changed like a chemical reaction. Look at all the different colors here. Usually chemical weathering causes the color of the rock to change. Let's look at examples of chemical weathering. When acid rain, you know, acid rain is like dirty rain from all the pollution in the air. When acid rain changes statues, look at that. Do you think when they first made this statue of the girl, they put holes all over her face? No, they didn't. But acid rain came. When the rain falls on the statue, it made all these holes in the statue. Rust. Now, rust, you probably don't know that word. So we're going to go to rust in Arabic. Sada, lemme fachi zenjur. Bengali, rust. Vietnamese, rust. Chinese simplified, rust. Albanian, this is what rust means. Okay, let's go back to our lesson. Okay, so rust when rocks color change to orange. Like if you ever have something metal and you leave it outside in the rain, it rusts, it changes to orange. Now we're going to just talk about what we talked about last week. Review from last, excuse me, lesson. It wasn't last week, it was Tuesday. Weathering, when rocks break into smaller pieces. Erosion, when rocks move from place to place. Deposition, when rocks are put in a new place. Gravity, a force that pulls things together. So gravity, if I throw a rock, does it fly in the air or does it come down to the ground? When you throw, your, when you drop your phone, does it go up in the air or does it fall to the ground? It falls to the ground because of gravity, right? Gravity. Now, this is the end of the lesson. If you're going, oh my heavens, I don't understand. You go to Schoology. Sorry about that. This is your lesson, right? Sorry, it's cut off in the picture, but you would click. This is the lesson, translation of the lesson. If you click that, you'll get it. I don't think it's showing me that, right? Oh, it did. There we go. Here's your translation of the lesson. You have an Arabic, Vietnamese, but right? So translation of lesson is what you click. Now let's look at our assignment. If you don't, I'm going to read the assignment. But if you don't understand the assignment, 
you go back to Schoology and you look at translation of assignment. This is your whole assignment translated into all of your languages. Okay, so don't just email me and say, I don't understand. Try this first. Okay, you can do it. I know you can. Okay, back to our assignment. Okay, science assignment, mechanical and chemical weathering. Choose the correct answer. Mechanical weathering is when rocks move from place to place. A process that changes the size and shape of rock. A process that changes the materials of the rock. Chemical weathering is a process that changes the size and shape of rock. When rocks are put in a new place. A process that changes the materials of the rock. Now pay attention. This here is mechanical, mechanical. This here is chemical, not the same thing, right? Okay, an example of gravity, gravity is a force that pulls things together. When rocks change color, when you throw a rock and it falls to the ground, when a rock flies in the sky, what is an example of gravity? Now we're going to look at a picture and you're just going to tell me, is it mechanical or chemical? This picture shows an example of blank weathering. Is it mechanical weathering or chemical weathering? Look at this picture. What is going on here? There's plants. This picture shows an example of blank weathering, mechanical or chemical. This statue, look how it started out looking nice. Look how it looks like right now. Not so good. What is that? Is that mechanical or is that chemical weathering? That is the end of our assignment. Again, if you don't understand, go on Schoology and click the translation documents first. If you don't understand the translation documents, then contact me, email me, text me, whatever. Okay, that's it for now. See you next time.